Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Edina Crime Prevention Fund and Edina Market in Delhi. Earlier this spring, outdoor warning alarms went off unexpectedly at around 6 a.m. in Edina and across the rest of Hennepin County. Many residents called in to see what was going on while others were left wondering. In order to explain what happened, we sat down with Hennepin County's Emergency Management Director, Eric Waggy, who says the incident was a rare occurrence. There's no single tool that can warn all people at all times. We call them outdoor warning sirens, and we call them outdoor warning sirens because the intent is that people who may be outside can be warned by the system. The outdoor siren system originally came from uh, World War II. It was a system to notify people that an attack was imminent. Cities locate them, purchase them, and maintain the individual sirens. Together, they form a countywide network. So we have 263 sirens currently, and that number is growing across the county. The county doesn't own any of the sirens. The county operates the sirens and um, maintains the software and the hardware that enables these sirens to sound it in a coordinated way. Part of the, the network um, requires that each siren get um, a, a time hack every day, a chronological you know, synchronization, so all that they're all uh, knowing what time it is. So apparently when that signal went out, instead of a time signal, a uh, alert signal went out, and so they all activated. We don't anticipate having that happen again. I think where people ended up getting concerned is that two days later we had the statewide siren uh, drill, or tornado drill, which is a thing that all states in the tornado belt uh, do every year. People were like, hey, what? why are all these sirens going off? So. Um, part of that curiosity did lead to, uh, to people learning more about sirens. Actually, most people took the correct action and they actually went inside and got more information and uh, that's exactly what we want people to do. During a weather emergency, Hennepin County recommends following their Twitter feed and Facebook page for the latest local updates. Residents may also want to check out the National Weather Service's website as well.